Hi everybody, uh, we are here today to do a really simple recipe. We're going to make our own mustard. So, I'm just going to check to see that we are online and running because this does not take very long at all. Just give me two shakes. Okay, let me just see here. Where are we? Where are we? Here we are. Okay, good. All right. Everything is good. This is how I'm going to try to make sure that I can get my camera angles right and things like this. I do not have a video switcher yet, so hopefully... Things will sort themselves out and at least I'll be able to switch cameras quicker just myself. Okay, so today we're making a whole grain mustard and as you can see, mine is almost empty. This is whole grain mustard and you see them in the fancy, uh, it's considered fancy mustard and it can be really expensive. Now, I got my very first sampling of mustard in a gift basket and Oh, it was so good. I really, really liked it. I'm not partial to the really ground up mustard, the Dijon mustards, because they're really hot and spicy. A little bit too much for me. So I'm making whole grain mustard and I get to control how hot and how much a bite it has in it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, so obviously I'm going to make more because it does take two days. So before I use up this last little bit, I want to make sure I have some doing its thing. Okay, so in order to do this, what we're going to need here is some really simple ingredients and they're actually really inexpensive. So I'm going to just show you what I've got here. I have some yellow mustard seeds. I have some brown mustard seeds, not black, brown, and we will discuss. I have some apple cider vinegar. I have some water. And I have a clean jar. Because I'm still using the other jar. So, I could actually probably do this video in about 60 seconds, but uh, that's exactly how quick it is. But of course I'm not going to. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can't switch and show you how I'm going to combine everything. Hold tight, I'm going to switch around. Oh, see, still got snow. We got lots of snow this morning. It was incredible. All right, so let's switch it around and see what we're dealing with here. Okay. So I'm just looking on my other iPad to make sure that I am let's just see here. There we are. That's a little bit better. Okay. So here we've got our jar. Oh, I thought it was better and it's so not better. Okay, here. There we are. Let's see here. There we are, that's better. Okay, so we've got our jar, and it's really, really quite simple. If you want to use a funnel and you're concerned about it spilling, use a funnel. I like to use my little red guy here. And all we're gonna do is dump in the brown seeds. You notice I have my mise en place so that everything just comes together really quickly. And then I'm going to put in my, oops, spillage yellow mustard. There we go. Put these aside. And then we're going to get our cold water. Get all these lovely mustard seeds. Okay. Now, you want to use cold water. 
you have to use cold water. Otherwise, because warm water will uh, not allow the flavors to come through. So we're just going to dump in our cold water. Simple as that. And we're going to put the lid on. And we're just going to give it a bit of a shake to make sure all the seeds are covered in water. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to, let me just see about my light here. There we go. We are going to let this sit for 10 minutes. So while that's sitting, you notice we didn't put the apple cider vinegar in yet. Let me just grab the camera and the camera. There we go. Now, you'll notice that we have not put in the apple cider vinegar yet. Now, what's happening is the water is going to help. It's going to soften up that outer seed over the next 10 minutes. Okay? So I'm just going to start the timer so that I know when 10 minutes is up. Okay. So you'll notice that we used yellow and brown mustard seeds. The color helps to tell you how strong and pungent the mustard is. Yellows are your mild mildest, then there's brown, then there's black. Black is really, really, really strong. If you like a really spicy mustard, then you can combine it however you like. Like uh, for this amount, which will almost fill the jar, okay, by the time we add the apple cider vinegar and the seeds swell, um, we're using 43 grams each of the mustard seed. So it's about a quarter cup of yellow and a quarter cup of brown. Now, if you want to say use the same amount of water and apple cider vinegar, then just use whatever combination of mustard you'd like. Keeping in mind that we're also going to grind up the seeds a little bit. Once you grind them, it releases a lot of flavor. So for me, I'm not a hot and spicy girl. I don't like it spicy hot. Um, I actually grind it up very little anyways. So I use yellow and brown. You can use, say, um, brown and black. That would be very, very spicy. Um, you can use a combination of whatever you'd like. Just mix it up a little bit if you like that kind of thing. If you like hot and spicy, great. If you like more mild, then you can go uh, all yellow. If you don't want any heat at all or very little heat, then go all yellow. That's fine. Uh, and then don't grind it up at all. That's fine. Um, sometimes I will make two batches, one that I don't grind up at all, and I'll use that in things like salad dressing, pardon me, salad dressing, uh, marinades. I'll put it in dips, like a yogurt-based dip. I always, always put a tablespoon or so of whole grain mustard in there. Um, soups, because if you finish your soups off with a little bit of acid, and that can come in this form as well, then oh, it really tastes really, really good. So I don't, I don't have yellow mustard. The only thing that yellow mustard is, uh, is the white seeds, and of course they put in turmeric. Turmeric is what creates that yellow color. This is turmeric, right? Really, really bright, bright yellow, and you don't need a lot. And don't wear white when you cook with it. It'll stain your, your clothes, something terrible. But that's how they get the yellow color in the mustard. Sometimes, if I feel like it, I'll add yellow. I didn't, I didn't add yellow to this, but I could have if I wanted to. Um, and you notice how runny it is. And sometimes my second batch, I will process it in my Magic Bullet or my food processor a little bit more so that it's a little bit creamier so it's actually spreadable if I want it that way. This is primarily, I use it just for in soups and dressings and dips and whatnot, so it doesn't need to be spreadable per se. So that's how I use mine. And the more you grind it, the more you break those seeds, the more you break the seeds, the more flavor that comes out. 
So uh, it's not it's not going to taste like apples. So you know, you could easily not use apple cider vinegar and just go with white vinegar. It doesn't matter. What uh, the vinegar is acting as a preservative, basically. So you can use apple cider vinegar after the fact if. If you wanted to really experiment with mustards, you can add all manner of things to this, like some other spices, other herbs, fresh herbs. You can add some garlic to it, what have you. Whenever I do uh, pickled garlic, like I just throw garlic in with a bunch of vinegar, and then I, I'll always put mustard seed in it. But if you want a flavored mustard, easy, easy peasy. The only thing you have to consider is that whatever you add to your mustard is going to... Whatever the shelf life is of what you've added will be the shelf life of your mustard. Now this, I will go through a jar of this probably in two or three months. But if I didn't eat a lot of mustard, I could easily keep this in my in my pantry or in my fridge. I keep it in my fridge. I could keep it there for six months, you know, easy. Easy peasy. But once you start cooking with mustard, you're going to really enjoy it and you're always going to reach for it. And it just adds so much extra flavor. Now, what you might find after we add, after we've let our seeds here, they're already starting to absorb some of this water. Um, after we add the apple cider vinegar, you're going to let it sit on the counter for anywhere between 8 hours and 48 hours. It depends on how long it takes to absorb the water. Now if it's really, really fast, if you find out in an hour, oh my goodness, all the vinegar and water has been absorbed, you can add a little bit more vinegar uh, to it, no problem. But one, it, and it, if it, it'll take 48 hours if your seeds are not terribly fresh. If after 48 hours it's not absorbing any of the water or vinegar, you've got old seeds, you got to chuck it, start over again. That's fine, whatever. But what you'll find is every so often you go by and you give your seeds a shake and then you'll see the seeds will go to the bottom and the rest of the liquid will go to the top. And then as hours go by, it'll absorb more and more and more of the liquid. So once your liquid is absorbed, then then it'll be step two, and that will just be adding a bit of salt. Some people like to add a bit of sugar. I used to, but I, I'm not a fan anymore. I don't need it sweet because I like to add it to stews and so forth. So I just simply vinegar, water, mustard seed, titch of salt. That's it. And once your 48 hours is up, and if you decide to grind it up a little bit or not, cool. That's fine. You can uh, grind it up. Put the jar in your fridge, and then when you get down to about this much, because it takes it only takes a day, two days max really, uh, you can throw in another batch. And I'll tell you, to make a jar of this and buy it, or to have buy a jar of this at the grocery store, this size. Let's say we end up filling this up to about here. I think it'll be about that. That would cost you at least five or six dollars easily. Um, to make this probably it took about 35 cents worth of each mustard seed and maybe a nickels worth of vinegar. So at the uppermost, upper uppermost, you're you're looking at about a dollar and a half. Oh, not even, not even close. Probably a dollar to make that much mustard. And when you see, I've been talking all this time, it took me about 30 seconds to combine all the ingredients and put it in a jar. Okay, then you let it sit and do its thing for a day or two. And then, oh, there we go, there's our 10 minutes. And then you just let it do its own work. Okay, so we've got our little mustards here, our little seeds. Right? And now all we're going to do, pour in the apple cider vinegar. Oops. Make sure that when, although the vinegar is good for killing stuff, 
Uh, make sure that the jar you're using is nice and clean. Clean it with really good hot soapy water and soap and dry it really well. Now, so we've mixed it all in. So this is what she looks like, okay? And that cold water soak that we did just helped to start soften up the outer skins of the seeds so that it makes it easier for it to absorb the water and the vinegar. So if you don't do that, it will still work, but I find that it just works so much better. If you give it, just give it that 10 minutes, it's not a big deal. And then as time goes, they're going to start absorbing all of this liquid. So we'll end up probably with the swelling probably about here worth of mustard. So you take this, you put it on the counter, you leave it alive. I just leave it out on the counter so I can see it and I can watch it do its thing. So this is what it's going to turn into. So what I'm going to do is once mine is done, I'm just going to quickly flip on the live stream so I can show you what it looks like and how long it took. Then I'm going to show you grinding it up and then it's done. Bob's your uncle. So the next time you're thinking about, well, even when company's coming, you decide, okay, I want company to come over. They're going to come over in a couple of days. I'm going to make fancy mustard. You don't have to break the bank. And the only thing you need to do is make sure you have some mustard seed on hand and just use fresh mustard seed. That's all. And if you're making this on a regular basis, you're always going to have fresh. It's And I just I just don't even bother with store-bought mustard anymore. And if you want to give it as, as gifts, great little gifts. You put it in a pretty little put it in a pretty jar and put a little ribbon and a tag and it's all good. Okay, so I'm going to be back in a couple of days and uh, let you see what my mustard looks like. I would love to hear if you're going to try to make mustard or if you do make mustard and what your flavor combinations are. That would be awesome. Um, okay, I will see you guys later. I'm going to make a couple more videos probably today. So, and we will post this video on the website and of course on Facebook and on YouTube. And I'm going to match up this video with our recipe. It's on the site. Handy dandy. Too easy. And the video will be there as well. And then I'll put part two there as well. Okay, guys. This is quick and easy. I will talk to you later. Have a good one.